What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I am at 350 characters known in Mandarin. I just wanted to talk about that a little bit, talk about um, Mandarin Blueprint, talk about a little bit of my time, what I've been doing, and kind of ramping up my uh, study and stuff like that, and kind of breaking into immersion. So I'm 351 characters into Mandarin Blueprint. Um, I've been going through, obviously, phase one. Um, now you'll see that it doesn't look fully done, but they've actually added a lot of stuff to this course and I haven't went back and done some stuff. I've mentioned this past before and some of these bonus rules, um, but they've added shorts, which it looks like I've actually watched some from here, where they kind of give you a little bit more in-depth description of, of what's going on. Um, I am currently in phase four, which is where the graded readers and things like that start or the, you know, the dialogues or the opinion pieces and, and stuff like that and so <clears throat> where i'm at i finished a level 24 and level 24 has you ending at 349 characters and level 25 starts you at 350 which i have done 350 and 351 which is jiao and shao and um which is yes summon or to acquaint like yeah jia shao uh, is going to be like to introduce somebody. So you're learning stuff like that. Now, the course is picking up because you're starting to unlock more and more words because you have more characters now. So when you learn this new character right here, which I've not done this one yet, then all of a sudden I can apply this character and these characters to get like, it, it just really starts ramping up with how many words. Like this one right here, you add, look at all the words that you can add just because of learning this character. So it starts ramping up. Uh, in terms of known words. But just to give you a little bit of a brief overview, we're going to say through level 24 because um, that's where it ends. And so we are here. Overall progress. We've got 505 words known. Um, we've got 349 characters that are known. Um, the red ones are all the ones that were added this specific level, uh, starting with Hong, which is red. And then it just you know, goes on throughout. Um, if you really want the breakdown of nouns, verbs, adjectives, all that stuff, here are those. But, um, you know, not that I'm not worried about parts of speech, but, um, you know, it's, I think this is a better picture. 349 characters, 505 words. So that is pretty good. Um, I did start recently importing these into Link. So as you'll see, like I'm doing level 21's graded readers now, even though I'm on level 25. And actually what I found is, and if anybody's doing Mandarin Blueprint, you may, uh, I don't know, take some advice from this or not. Nah, you can do whatever you want. That's the beauty of language learning. But I've noticed that going a couple of levels ahead and then doing the graded readers helps because for one, some of the top down words that they provide, which is your plus one words, your target one, your whatever all the different terminologies are it's where you know you've got kind of one new word in a sentence any of those words a lot of times you'll learn them like a level or two later um so i find that is a little bit easier and just having a little bit more vocab vocab under my belt tends to help um that's specifically just me um you're more than welcome to do whatever you want obviously i know in the last video i said that i was using scritter and i am still using scritter um, I use Scritter more of a supplement. I actually went back to Traverse. As you can see, I've got 1,600 reviews right now. So many reviews, but what I've started doing was I go through, uh, basically, over, I've been working on it for about, I don't know if there's streaks on here. Well, you can see all these, all these days in a row kind of started coming into it here and there. But I really started working at it right here, which was 11 days ago. And um, what I've noticed is, so, so what I did was, is I came in here and I said, okay, I'm going to complete all the reviews for this. And then the next day, if there was any remaining or any that I had to redo, I would do this and then I would do this. And then the next day, same thing. And I just slowly worked up to where every day I'm doing all of phase four's reviews and I'm slowly working. So this was on, this was on 186 and I'm slowly getting through that. Um, I did all of phase one because there was like four reviews and not a big deal. And I'm just going to slowly work up the ladder. I'm not going to stress about it because a lot of the words are words that I know. Like I'm not 100% sure, but if I click on one, 
and click re review flashcard. I may or may not know it. Kid, R, I do know how to write kid. Boom. So there's some stuff like that, which I mean, I guess I could have said, Dia, which is to introduce. Boom, right? Uh, this is going to be, I believe, Jir, which is only. Jir, only. So I do know a lot of that stuff, and I, I can I can write that. I'll, I'll write it right now. So we're going to write Jir, which is going to be down, down, boom, 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 which I just saw it, so obviously not that hard, but writing it. Um, and so that's why. You probably saw my uh, mnemonics in there. And that's the other thing I love about is creating your mnemonics. But that's why I started with these, because these are all, like, phase four, because these are all newer, uh, as to where through phase one, two, three, I was doing the flashcards on here regularly. And honestly, um, I think that it's working pretty well for me. And the other reason I went to this is because, um, I, and I do love Scritter. I love Scritter a lot. However, I noticed that as I stopped handwriting, even though you're doing with your thumb on your phone, when I stopped, uh, hold on, let me actually flip back to the page. I just finished this page yesterday. When I stopped doing this, it's like my retention went down. Um, being able to produce this, being able to recall it, has helped uh, tremendously. It's been huge. Since I started doing this again, um, I've filled out multiple pages. I know that I always show these pages in my book, but I've filled out a whole lot of pages of just practice writing um, the characters, and I find that that helps. I'm a big, uh, just a big fan of that. Also, like for example, another reason that I'm a really big fan of this. And again, you do whatever you want. I'm not one to tell people how to learn languages. If you think you're learning to write is useless, don't do it. But I was in a Chinese restaurant the other day, and the guy was like, and he was from Taiwan, and um, and and the way that he had pronounced something, I was like, "What what are you what are you saying?" And he's like, "Oh, it's this." And I said, "Man, it sounds just like like this." And he was like, "What do you mean?" I said, "This," but in a, I said, "It's it's a literary form of this." And he was like, I, "What do you what do you mean?" And so I, I pulled out my phone, which is on charge right now, right? But I I pulled out my phone, and I was basically like, um, "Let me grab something here so I can show you." You can always tell that I'm very unprepared, so it's a blank sheet of paper. And I said, it's this, that, which is like, it's the literary form of the word this. And he was like, oh, okay. So being able to write that was uh, just helpful. I mean, that may not be super interesting to many people, but for me, it really helped. Um, so that's what I've been doing on that. That's how I've been catching up on that. Um, like I said, the progression is going really, really well, and all the stuff is good. Now, uh, what a lot of the stuff that I've not completed in the previous lessons here are the words in context. That's something I really need to get better at. Um, however, as I start to do some of these graded readers and stuff, I'm going to see the words in context. Um, these are just sample sentences, which is perfectly fine. Um, Hopefully it's okay that I'm doing that. I know this is a paid course, but it's just one little section. But like the word red, right? So I don't know. It's um, seeing it in context. Chris, this is just the word red. So I mean, maybe that's not a great example. But words that have multiple different meanings and stuff like that, I think it, it could definitely help. And I need to go through some of these. And that's something that I eventually will. Um, as I said with Link... Uh, just recently, I'm on a one day streak. Like I'm just getting into reading 413 words known here. And, um, that's going to continue progressing. Uh, I have been going through some of the mini stories occasionally, uh, and they're, it's, they're very, very solid, but, um, I really like the, I like these. I like the ones that Mandarin blueprint does, um, because it's stuff that you all know, like you can see this whole dialogue right here. I know everything. Um, for the most part, this is a top down word, Zhao uh, Zhou already or earlier yeah she yeah, actually know it's right so even just seeing that i can already tell this is um this is also or again yeah again okay so i'm not gonna do that because i literally freudian slipped and said something else so it is not it but anyway i know a lot of the stuff and it works pretty well for me also marking that word to known gave me more coins or whatever uh as far as time goes i'm generally uh I started tracking time again, more so to make sure that I'm keeping myself honest. So I started back in June tracking. Uh, the first day that I have tracked on here is June 16th. I did 12 hours in June where I was really kind of getting into it. 
Uh, and then I've already done 12 hours uh, this month in 10 days, not even finished with the 10th day just yet in the month of July, which feels uh, really good to get into. Let's do this month. There we go. Yeah, so 12 hours and 9 minutes uh, in 10 days. That's going to go up because I'm going to be doing more study in just a second as I continue to write. And yeah, I mean, so that's, that is what it is. Um, I, I'm really enjoying my time. I'm really anxious. I had somebody comment on my channel the other day and they were like, you know, where do you get to, I think it's level five or phase five, maybe, maybe six. I don't remember. Uh, and he was like, then you can really start enjoying the content that you, that you want to watch and stuff. Um, and I'm excited, I'm excited that but for, like, weirdly though, like, Although I do want to watch content in Chinese, and I do watch some, like, man, the enjoyment that I get out of writing these characters is, like, I don't know. It's, like, it's, like, so weirdly therapeutic. Like, I have such a good time writing these characters. Um, and sometimes I mess up, and, you know, that that's okay. Um, I... You know, my handwriting has gotten better. Like, um, of course, I mean, they're going to be different characters, but I mean, my God, dude, if you look at the, if I can find the first page, God, I've wrote so many pages of Chinese. Um, if you look at some of the earlier, honestly, these aren't really terrible, actually. Yeah. But like, if you look at some of the earlier characters that I drew, right? Look at some of the earlier characters. Um, and then you flash forward to... Like some of the, it's just become honestly, I think really and truly what it is, it's just become tighter, more compact. I've adjusted to writing. Like, look at the compact nature of those. I, need, I guess I need to make sure it's on, it's on visible. Uh, if you look at the compact uh, nature of those, and then in the beginning, look at how like widespread it was. Like, I've just gotten better, you know, with that kind of stuff. So, and honestly, I think that that's uh, that's just what learning Chinese is about. So, um, I'm having fun. I don't remember what the last update that I did was, how many characters I would. So how many of her characters I've learned in that time, but I'm enjoying going at my own pace. I don't stress about a certain amount of characters learned per day because when I learn a character, I'm also attaching words to it. So if I only learn two characters in a day, but those two characters have unlocked 10 words, I mean, that's a win in my opinion. And that's kind of what's happening. So but that is it. Uh, as far as anything about Chinese, it's going really well. If you have any questions, uh, let me know down below. And um, yeah, that's it. And I'll be back with another update uh, at some point. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video.